So just expect me to trip because if there's anything in my path, I will trip over it. So just uh, be prepared for that. If I uh, if I trip, I will do my best to recover. All right. So good morning, everybody. It's really awesome to be here with all of you. And we're going to talk about how to create collective ownership through a compelling shared vision. Taito is helping me this morning. She's part of our team. And I want to talk specifically about millennials. And this is part of our team here at Temnos uh, Plus Agility, and some of them are here in the room with us today. And, you know, how many of you were born 1980 or earlier here in the room? Yeah. Earlier? Uh, later. 1980 or later. Trick question. Thanks. <laughs> 1980 or later. So, you know, it's a growing population around the world. 90% of Infosys globally is made up of millennials. 90% globally, that's a huge number. There are 180,000 plus uh, member organization. There are 600 million millennials in India alone. That's twice the population, entire population of the US. Right? So Deloitte put out a survey this year that says that 52% of you will be looking for a new job in two years. 76% will be looking for a new job in four years. And what you're looking for is alignment with your personal vision. When you choose organizations, you want that alignment. And so what can we do? What can we do to kind of help build that alignment around personal vision? So what we do is, is really build that uh, personal vision from the individual to the organization. Okay, so you can see here, all the individuals are the small circles around the outside, builds into teams, divisions, uh, organizations, and then institution, right? But it's all about people and that alignment of vision. And so what we take a look at is, what's your personal vision? How does it align with the organization's vision? Instead of it coming from the institution to the individual, we take it from the individual to the institution. Now this can be terrifying for leaders in that organization. Like what happens if it doesn't align? Well guess what, we show up for work for a reason, right? We have a purpose for what we show up for. And uh, I'd say the majority of the time, and I've done thousands of this with individuals, the majority of the time there is alignment. That's why you show up every day, right? And for those that don't align, they realize why like, they didn't actually fit with the work that's going on. So from an individual point of view, incredibly powerful to be able to see how do you fit into that organization. From a team perspective or a division perspective, it's a way to say, is the work coming to us as a team or a division appropriate? Is it aligned with our vision? And if it isn't, you, know, you can say no. Find somebody else, find another team, find another division to do the work. Or is something changed in our vision? Do we need to reevaluate it, right? Also, when new people come in, you can go through this and say, now, with somebody new coming in, how is that alignment? How is it shifted, right? A great way to get to know each other when you start to share your personal vision with one another. Okay. And so let me show you a couple of case studies here. Go ahead, Chaitra. So this is actually in a corporate setting. It was a large, it's a large financial services institution in the, in the US. And what you see here is everybody's personal vision. Okay, so you go through an exercise around uh, visualizing it and then articulating it. And then everybody puts it up on the wall. Okay, and try to, if you can just uh, flip through. Then you can see they're working on what their uh, uh, Compelling shared vision looks like. What does it look like together? They're taking a look at all those images and all those words that were put up in their personal visions, coming together to create that compelling shared vision. Chaitra, go ahead. And then you can see here, on the left is actually their vision statement for this, uh, for this team. It, it was a team of internal change agents. And what their vision looks like. What's really compelling, like that compelling word uh, is, is an important one here, What's really compelling is that you now see yourself in that vision. You're using the words that you've, that you've used in your personal vision, using images that were in your personal vision. 
Now you feel a connection, and that's really what we're looking for as human beings, is being connected with one another, right? Being able to make conscious, uh, conscious choices, intentional choices about my place in this organization, about the work that I'm responsible for doing, to be acknowledged for that work, right, and having that all come together. Let me just show you a couple other uh, case studies here. This is a group of external change agents, and it's in a, a lab setting. So you can see the same thing, right? The, everybody's personal vision is up on the wall. There's a group there working on the words of the personal visions, and Chaitra keeps scrolling, and then came up with what that visualization of the vision looks like. And then lastly, this is actually at Agile India earlier this year in Bangalore. Did a session, and everybody's got their personal vision up on the wall. And then Chaitra, move on to the next. And everyone standing back to kind of take a look at that. What does it look like as we come, come together? So guess what? We're going to do a, a compelling shared vision for our conference here today. And so I'm going to pose a question to you. Chaitra, if you can go on to the next. When you leave today, what's your vision for yourself as a member of this community? All right. So we've got some uh, Timorous Plus Fragility uh, me uh, team members here. They're going to disperse around the room to kind of help you with this. You're going to go through three steps. St we're going to start with personal vision. Okay. Everybody has paper and pencils at the table. You'll take a sheet of paper. Take a couple minutes around introspection. What is this question? How would you answer this question? Okay. Then visualization. What does it mean to you? You can write words, you can draw pictures, you can do a combination of the two. Then we're going to do articulation. Okay. You're going to share that in a small group and we're, we're going to do just quick rounds, kind of like speed dating. You'll just uh, pair up, do a sharing, and then move around. We'll just do a couple of rounds of that, all right? And then I'll come back together as a whole group for the second round um, for, the, for the room to move us toward our compelling shared vision. All right, do you have it? Okay, so let's take, just get my time here. Let's take about five minutes, okay? Do your introspection visualization, all right? So think about the question, write down your thoughts, draw some pictures for us. All right, and then we'll do some quick sharing rounds. Okay, is everybody ready? Yes? Okay, so what I'd like you to do is everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Great. We're going to run one minute speed rounds. Okay, so you get about 30 seconds each to share your personal vision with your pair. All right? And then we'll switch, we'll switch, we'll do a few rounds of this just so you can kind of get what's your story around your personal vision. All right? So let's start. One minute starts now. Find somebody and share. Make sure you give each other equal space. Okay, switch. Find somebody new. Find somebody new.
Okay, again. Keep going. Keep finding somebody. Okay, time's up. So next round, and uh, facilitators, our Center of Procedurity facilitators, please help with this, everybody. We're going to take your individual sheets of paper, we're going to put them up here on this big white wall, all right? So you can just start bringing them up. You can start putting them up here on the wall. If you want to put your name on it, feel free. You can take it after we're done as well. Take the sheet of paper, and we're going to put them up here on the wall. Okay? So everyone, you can put your name on it if you want to. You can keep it uh, for later if you want to. But let's put them all up here. You're the first one. Come on. Anywhere. Yeah, we have some tape. It's all here. Look at that. There you go. Come on, everybody. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just <laughs> yep. Yep. Come on, to everybody. Please bring up your sheets of paper. There's lots of tape. Great, looks awesome. All right, you can keep bringing yours up as you uh, as you want. Now, I'd like everybody to come up here. We're not sitting yet. We're still standing. <laughs> come on up to the front. All right, so we're going to organize into two groups, okay? Self-organizing. Those who like words and those who like pictures. All right? So come on up. Those who like words, those who like pictures, we've got flip chart sheets for you to work on. And this is a group effort, okay, because you're going to need some help seeing the images and seeing the words. So those who like the words, we'll look at all the words that are up here. Start to write a vision statement. Okay? Really simple. Just take the words out of there. You could add other words. Right? You don't have to use just the words out of there. But look for the ones that people have put up. And those who are in the uh, picture group, the same thing. Look at those images that are there. We've got a beacon. We've got um, an Olympic platform. We've got people. We have flip chart sheets over here. And you can start uh, working on that. The words people who's going to help uh, self-organize around words. I'll give a few sheets to the image people. Image people. If you come in, you could help organize the image people. All right, we have markers. Nelson, I know, has a big uh, a bag of markers. All right. And so we'll have a flip chart sheet or sheets that will have images on it, flip chart sheet or sheets that will have words on it. Okay? So let's give Anusha. Where's Anusha? Anusha. Anusha. 
Anusha, maybe you could help with the words, help people get organized around words. Uh, Ipsita is helping with images, okay? We have about five more minutes. Let's just get something down on the papers. Words and images. Uh, so there's two groups forming. One is around Anusha here and one is around Ipsita. So they're taking the words and they're taking the images. Uh, two foot chart sheets, one that has a beginning of a vision statement and the other the images of the vision. Okay? People stepping away from the images. How are you doing? You look feeling good? Yes? How are, how are word people coming? They're writing. Awesome. Couple more minutes. <laughs> okay, let's wrap up for, just, just to get a sense of what's happening. Okay, so I need a representative from each group to kind of give us the readout, okay? And Safiq is writing up our questions, so we'll have a good board when we're done. Looks beautiful. All right, finishing touches. Finishing touches. Okay, let's put it up here if you don't mind when you get it. Who's going to be our spokesperson for our words? The final writer? Do you want to be our spokesperson? Okay, awesome. Great. Let's, let's put it up on here so everybody can see it. Yeah, let's put it right here in the middle. Yeah, let's put it right here in the middle. Good. And who, do you want to be our spokesperson for the images? <laughs> you both can. I <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's why we use tape. And, uh, all right, looks beautiful. Okay, we're going to get a quick readout. All right, everyone, let's come back up here. We can admire the compelling shared vision that we've come up with today as a community. Come on, come back up. All right, so the question is, when you leave today, what's your vision for yourself as a member of the community? And would you like to give our statement? Here. So we discussed the keywords, uh, the main keywords that came up were leadership, growth, networking, community, purpose, learning, agility, smile, influence and helping as a growing closely connected community of agile leaders and learners, we need to influence and help others to create. The purpose of agile community is to bring smile in people's professional lives by making them agilent and help them with continuous collaborations to, to stay on track through Agile Principles. Awesome. So everybody sees the words, right? Fantastic. Great. And now we have our images here, which are really beautiful. Please give us a, a description of what we came up with with the visualization. So the visualization talks about a person who is part of a family and, and office and also is connected to the Discuss Agile community. And the person wants to bring in change, which uh, a holistic change for the community, for the society, where everybody understands what Agile is. Agile can be implemented at home or at office, at, in, in anywhere, and that brings smile for everybody. 
and the, the crux is that we can speak and understand the same language for those communication. Fantastic. So there you go. We've got a visualization in our statement and you can just keep working on that as a community. We can post it and get some uh, good dialogue around it. Awesome. Thank you everybody. Come talk to us some more today if you want to find out more about all of this. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have fun.